What is going on everybody? Today we are going to take a look at a new knife from Klein Tools. It is called the Resurgence. And before you go hitting up the comments, I do understand that this knife has been kind of misnamed in some websites. Some knife stores have kind of misnamed this knife a few different things. Um, I look at the box and apparently it actually does not have the name of the knife on it, as you will see in a second. But it is called a resurgence. Like I looked it up right from Klein Tools, and that is what it's called. So let's get to it. Here's your packaging. And here's your basically your information. A folding knife, Tonto Point, D2 steel, and sand color. Alright, so let's get this sucker open. Rid of that box. Alright. So we do have glass reinforced nylon handles. Not my favorite in the world, but. And we have a deep carry pocket clip, which looks like it could be a little bit taller, but definitely going to sit deep in your pocket. We have a crossbar lock. So, oh, there is your D2 steel blade. Nice stubby little drop point kind of tanto in there. Full flat grind. Very cool. The crossbar lock isn't bad. It does draw the does draw the blade in, so that's good. Can middle finger flick it, so that's good. It's a little awkward, but you can thumb flick it and middle finger flick it, so that's cool. Some of your information there. The numbers are all different. <laughs> the numbers and names, uh, this seems to be kind of funky. The hardware is super small. I really dislike the small hardware personally. That's the only thing that I could say for considering this is a tool company. They could have just really, in all honesty, went a little bit bigger on the, the hardware overall. Nice finger troll. So if you're sharpening it, it'll be easy to sharpen. You won't hit the handle. It's got a fairly thick blade stock and carries it all the way to the end. Look at the nice edge. This is made in Taiwan. So, just in case you're wondering. And yeah. And it's just a little over 7 inches overall length. Almost looks like almost seven and a quarter and about two and a half inches of sharpened blade so all in all size wise not too bad it's pretty good in the hand for a smaller knife I do feel a little kind of cramped on it when you have your thumb ramp there but again for a tool company I would have probably wished it was Maybe a little bit bigger, an 8 inch size I think would be a little more perfect for somebody if you're in construction or something. I would think that it would be a little bit better. I do like the one hand um, access, you know, of being able to open it with a crossbar lock. It does work really good. Goes in and out very nicely. So that's very good. Not too super hard. You can just get it from one side you don't have to get it from it's not so stiff or and it doesn't pivot at a weird angle so you can literally just do it from one side so that's cool sometimes the crossbar locks don't always work quite the way they should sometimes when you pull on it from one side it kind of cocks to one side and won't release but this one is definitely not doing that so 
yeah, all in all, not too bad, not too shabby. Like I said, pretty thick blade steel. You'd be able to sharpen that for a long time and keep it in use. It's if you are really doing a lot of hard work with it, it'll hold up. We got some liners in there that are weight relief to it. Again, I wouldn't really say that that if you're again if you're in construction yeah the weight is it really an issue uh, i don't know probably not but anyway all in all not too bad it does come in a couple different colors um black sand that might be it all all satin blades so not too bad um 20 30 dollars i forget now what it was some 25 dollars all in all for D2 steel and overall the access to it got just a tad bit of wiggle in it but that really doesn't matter with the crossbar lock but all in all yeah I say it's pretty good you got some nice grippy aspects to it but yeah all in all not too bad for the cash all right, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time. Have a great day.